we have this GE window AC unit and it is short cycling. One of the problems with these units is that a circuit board goes bad in them and it does this short cycling reset thing with all the lights lit and 88 lit on it. So I'm going to show you how guys have bypassed it. But the thing you really should do is get your hands on the board and replace the board. So let's go ahead and take this thing apart and get it to board. The model number to this machine is Alpha Hotel Sierra 08 Larry X-Ray Whiskey 1. First thing you want to do is unplug it from the wall. You can push the bottom button to shut it off, but just go ahead and unplug it. Because as soon as you cut it off, it's just going to cut it back on. So unplug the power cord. Next you want to take off this front panel. I see a screw here. Let's see if I see any other screws here. I see a screw here. Those are Phillips screws. Let's go ahead and remove those Phillips screws. After you get the screws out, you pry it and you pop the cover off of it. As such, next we want to get behind this control panel and see if we can see the circuit board back behind here. Doop, doop, doop. There it goes. This is your circuit board here. We're gonna unscrew that four screws there. One, two, three, four. So here's the circuit board. There's likely some kind of break in the wiring somewhere or the chip is bad or something. Usually damaged from a power surge. So you could look on that real close, see if you see anything wrong with it. I removed the screw from the top screw from the bottom and slid this unit out and you can see where this circuit board is glued to this one in here so that is two different ways you could deal with this of course one is like I said replace this circuit board the other is cut these wires and splice together the white, the red, and the yellow. And that will let the unit just run full on coal. You could control it by tripping the plug breaker. But other than that, you won't have no control over it because you've bypassed the control board that controls the function of it. Let me see if I can unplug it by taking this glue loose and pulling that apart. I cut the silicone on it and just unplugged it from that board. So here's the unit part number and you can go online and order the control board for it. So let me look that up, see what that is and get that ordered. After doing some research, I figured out the part number is here. WJ26X 22187 again I don't see that on the part anywhere but I'm gonna go ahead and do the hack order the part from GE replace it and see if that fixes the problem in the meantime I splice these wires together like this yellow white red I'm gonna put this board back in there plug the unit in and use the plug reset and set switch to function it until my part comes in. I'm going to check locally, see if a place locally can get me that board. If not, I'm going to order it online. F probably from GE. Unlike some of the other videos I've seen online, this unit you only have to connect three wires. You got this red wire, you have a white wire, and you have a yellow wire. You connect those three and it will turn the unit on, running the fan on high, and it will turn the compressor on. I'll get my 
temperature gauge and show you that the air coming out of here is cold, but you can see the condensation building up down there. These other wires, you can just leave them cut off. I tried like some of the other guys did, hooked up that black wire, but that canceled it out. So there you have it. The red, yellow, and white wires connected will run your unit. And I'm doing this temporarily so that I can have some cool layer until the part comes in. I'm ordering this control board. It should be here this week. And when it comes in, I'll unplug it from there, screw it into there, put this unit right back together. But in the meantime, I got full on cold air. I can control this a couple ways. One, I can unplug the unit from the wall, that'll set it down. Or I can hit the reset button to kill the plug to power it off and just cycle it on and off there as needed. You can also plug it into a switched wall outlet that is controlled by a switch on your wall to cut it off. You can also put a timer on it if you want. Uh, you have wall outlet timers that will cut it off and on in a timed manner. So when I get this control panel, I'll replace that and show you that it's back to normal with the control pad. Put everything back together so it don't get lost. Here's the filter. We took that out and cleaned it because that's the right thing to do. Huh. My uh, control panel didn't sit in there right, but I'll make it right next time. Oh, this panel's not down all the way, and the screw's not in it, that's why. You plug it in, hit the reset button, see that it works.